Alright. I probably should have my mic on the other side of me, but I don't really have the ability to move it, so. Hopefully I'm audible. Let me uh, just listen. See what I sound like. Yeah, I'm audible enough. of putting the, the gain really low and just leaning into the mic when I need to speak that's the only other thing I can think of so hopefully that's uh, audible if I speak into the mic so um, apologies on that with the audio so this input system that I wrote on the last stream um, I did this mostly so that I would have uh, like disambiguation between keyboard and um, controller input. That's sort of the idea there is like tell whether or not you're using a controller or whether you're using a um, mouse and keyboard. The problem is that uh, I didn't get that part working. I didn't get that part working, and um, I need to figure out how to get it to work right. So, there's a few things, like there's a few things that are annoying with the way I have it right now. Uh, one of those is I need like mappings. So I think I need to pull the mappings, which would be these indices, out of this. And those need to go into a different type of struct, which is going to be mappings, and have this. So basically I want to have a mapping that is... Mapping for Xbox, a mapping for PS4. Um, then I need a controller, which has basically the button info, the axes, um, and will also store a mapping inside of it. That should work. So that gives me mappings there. I need, like, essentially I need a controller that is the console controller. I need a controller that is the PC controller. And then I actually don't need a controller exactly that's the final. I need, like, a reference to a controller, um, which I don't know whether I can just do that way because I don't have a ton of experience with C-sharp. So, let's see, create reference, uh, C sharp, which I feel like, let's see, I can pass in by ref, but I don't think I can make a ref just as a thing. It's also kind of annoying that I just don't know necessarily whether or not something is a reference type. Um, I'm assuming structs are not. So I got the mapping, I got the controller. So the controller has a mapping, that way I can swap out the mapping, because um, that's kind of what I do here is generate these, which are mappings. Right? Uh, yeah. I don't really need that because that's not going to have axes and stuff, I don't think. Yeah, it's not. Um, so essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to have the mapping. I'm going to figure out what... 
Oh, this is the hard thing because it's like I do want to have controllers. <sighs> I do want to have Xbox controllers and Xbox mappings uh, separately, sort of. Like there's a mapping and then there's also a controller. So the mapping is like this, where I set all the maps. Um, and then I should be able to do like this, where I go con.mapping is equal to Xbox. And then I can figure out the console controller here, right? And then I have PC, which is like a fake controller. And then I basically want to know if the last like input that we got came from PC or from console. So that basically is just like uh, let's see button index A. I think that's the problem because I did button index A instead of con button index A. So button index A is zero and they're all zero. So that would be one thing to get rid of. Is I don't actually need this here button index to be a thing or axis index to be a thing. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of all of the things that are not inside of a controller struct. So we aren't gonna have any buttons or anything like that. It's all gonna be these things and then inside of this controller struct. I'm not too worried about multiple controllers, I don't think. That's really hard to tell. Like, there's, I feel like there's going to be an edge case there where if you had, like, a PS4 controller plugged in and an Xbox controller plugged in, it wouldn't just work. Like, it would just decide based on arbitrarily which one is which, and one of them would not work right. So... It's a little warm. I'm gonna take this jacket off. Okay, so so I kind of need to know whether or not the mapping is. I need to know whether the controller is an Xbox or a PS4. So I'm going to do this. We're just going to keep these as controllers. So right now I'm going through and getting the, <coughs> the joystick names. So I don't really have like creating a list of all joysticks and then just iterating through those uh, which would be a little bit harder basically what I go through is I get the name and I check to see if it's that uh, it's of the first joystick um, and if it's this this name that I have specified up here which is wireless controller which is what the PS4 controller shows up as um, or if it's this, which is what an Xbox controller shows up as, uh, then I map those. I don't know whether the Xbox One controller will work, uh, but either way, I, I set the map to that, and then uh, and then we go down here. Now, I don't actually need this really. I can just do this. I can go con dot mapping equals Xbox dot mapping. That would be con dot mapping. Oops. Mapping equals PS4 dot mapping. I think I got these reversed. So, like right now, that's because I just wanted to get these things once. But I should probably actually have a thing that updates the controller so that I can do both.
but right now that's not really going to work, so I need to, the only thing I need to fix is this. So I think that was part of the problem, is that I did not have this set to index because it should be that. Like, it should have been getting it out of the, the controller. Xbox, PS4, con. We're just going to still have that be con because it's just sort of shorter for now. And then I've got PC, which is like a fake controller. Um, and then I've got like final, which is like the actual controller that gets used. Um, so I can clear all the buttons and axes. I can get axes. Um, the problem, I think, is, is I actually need to, I feel like I need to pass in the controller here. This way I can mark which controller was used, in a way. So that should theoretically work, actually, if I just did final here, um, which would be like last used, basically, last used controller. Um, so then we could pass in, uh, let's see, that'd be controller, I think, that'd be like controller C and the axis num. And then here we would check to see if this is not totally right. We have to go like this. Make sure that we handle. Well, it really needs to be. Oh gosh. I basically need to set the axis last frame. really have to set the axis last frame because I need to know I need to know what the difference is um, like if it's changed more than a certain amount because some of the axes um, like on the ps4 controller the shoulder button axes are negative one at rest and then positive one when you press them so zero is actually like halfway in between so it's gonna start out as like negative one so I actually need to know <sighs> I need to know kind of the default state um, of the controller for it to work properly. Uh, we I don't actually know. put a note here, default axis state, if it's non-zero, and then uh, we'll just pass this in for the other one too. And I may want this to be a ref, so that I can just pass it in by ref, and then it actually will handle changing it. That's probably what I'll want, is that I pass in like ref controller C and then um, and then we check all this stuff and then we assign it to the thing to the axis but that's not really great because then there's no there's no actual number index for the controller right now for the axis so I couldn't I can't like I can't reconstruct it because I can't set the thing because it's not numerical on the axis so that's really annoying all right so we won't worry about that right now we'll try to figure out how we can do it anyway but uh, essentially what I want is last used is equal to C that's basically what I want Um, 
because that means every time I get an input, if there was an input, then we know that the last input uh, was that, basically. And that should work pretty easily. Um, and I probably won't need this controller changed thing anymore. Um, I'll leave it there for now. Let's see, start right now. I set up the Xbox and PS4 button indices. I don't know if I w actually want to keep the mapping thing since I kind of took it out. So I think we're just going to do this. Ugh. Yeah, I do want to keep the mapping. It makes it easier. It's annoying here because it means that for all of these I have to type mapping. I guess I can just change it to map. That would be a little bit shorter. So, all right. Yeah, so it should be mappings, get all set. Um, I clear all these, which I believe sets them all to negative one. seem like right now I'm clearing the PC, which is strange. I should do that, too. I actually don't need to clear last used because it's going to get changed. Okay, so we're not going to worry about that. We are going to worry about this. Um, we'll have to hack around that in a bit. Uh, we don't use that anymore. Seems fine right now. Let's see, so I clear all of the buttons and axes on the con, which is the console controller. Um, here we map this, which would be con.map is equal to Xbox. And then here we map it with, oh, I guess I already did that up there. So I actually don't need these. So that's just a second check. So that will be map. God, this is kind of bad, though, because it's like, I've got con button, and I've got like con map button A. like I need to change it to where the mapping doesn't have these two separate things for button indices and axes indices. It seems like what I need. So this needs to be actually moved into here. And then this needs to get moved into here so that it just has all of that, basically. So that's all the mappings. Yeah, and then I've got buttons and axes there, and I've got mappings, so map can just be like, I can get rid of all this here, and they can just be like that. So that should work. Hey. Hey, buddy, you up there? I'm going to have to buy something for you. Yeah. This time I'm trying put in my iPod, mm -hmm. so that when I use the phone, I listen to music, not the game. Okay. So yeah, so that's map. So that gets all the things for that based on this. Okay. So 
I don't need to know that. And then I can do the PC thing. And then I should just be able to. I shouldn't need any of this. But I should be able to figure out whether or not you're using the controller based on uh, if last used is equal to con uh, then it should be that else if last used is equal to PC I really would want that to say like using PC controls um, the problem is set as well um, yeah that'll have to get set um, the problem is that there's some stuff that references the main controller thing mapping already contains a definition for LT it's true because I have LT as a button and LT as an axis I do that as I guess I would do like I guess I would do button LT like LT button and then that needs to get set to those are not supposed to be I guess that's fine. I don't really see any reason to do that, though. Okay, then. So that needs to be button. Seen this as button. This looks like I misspelled button on one of these. I don't think there is a button for the Xbox on a, for the triggers. I, th I think it just handles it as that. Con map LT button. LT I feel like I feel like I should change button on button held it should be LT button there as well because I've got button LT and that feels like it should be LT button if I'm gonna be consistent anyway let me just let me let it give me errors so that this be easier. Yeah, it's not contained definition for button, so. Yeah, that's the problem there, is like, I have this controller here that's like a layer on top of that that is looking at these things. And so I have like TJ input button A. Um, which was fine, but I don't know what to do with it. It feels like it should be. Because otherwise it, I need to change, I just change it to where um, all of these have last used, basically. Like that's the easiest thing to do. I 
really not just not good to have those be not at the high level though so it feels like it just needs to be something that's here just for usefulness which is basically to have button button held and axis just for usefulness and then at the end of the frame we kind of copy those off like this button is equal to uh, last used dot button button held is equal to last used dot button held and axis is equal to last used dot axis and oh yeah these need to be named Type or namespace button held could not be found. That's right, because it isn't. It's just bu another button. Alright. This does not contain definition for LT. That is true. C button held LT button. And that should be button as well. Oh, overload for get button down takes one argument. Oh, yeah, that's true. <sighs> so right now I'm passing in a ref, right? Which is basically con. Ref con. I do not like. I do not like this. Like super messy. Because then I pass in the ref, right? Actually, I don't need a ref, do I? I just need to pass in con for now. But it feels weird to pass in con and then con map A. Like it feels more like I should just pass in like con and map A, right? I just have a mapping, but. We're not going to worry about it too much. I need, I just need to get that stuff for that. Problem is that these don't work because they're not wrapped. So I'm never going to know if these were the last things. Unless I do get button on them or something, right? Basically, I need to replace these with something. That is so annoying, <laughs> the way this works. Because if I'm always getting that stuff from there, then I should just be able to say that it came from con without actually passing in the controller, which would work for now. It's not great, but it works, and it makes this somewhat simpler, because I don't actually have to have this passed in. Oops. I just pass in the axis, and then just say it's con, and then I just need to have a uh, public static bool get key, um, and that's going to be a uh, key code, basically. called in Unity. I think it's just a key code, isn't it? Might be input key code, but... No, it's just key code. So we'll go key code. Okay. And, uh... Press equals 
input dot get key. Okay. And if pressed, last used is equal to PC. Uh, return pressed. So we do that, and we also wrap this one basically. Just take all the inputs here, delete those out of there. So that should work on that. And then here we don't need all of this anymore because I'm not passing it in. We're just assuming uh, if I'm calling get button or get access that it's the console controller right now. I don't love it, but it should work. So, uh, button does not contain LT. That is true. It should be LT button. Another spot where it should be LT button. Another spot where it should be LT button. <laughs> spots that I have to change. Equals, equals cannot be applied to controller. Okay. Can I object cast them? And make them and check if they're equal. Okay. No, apparently not. What is this? Oh, okay. No, that's all that is. That's just for my monitoring purposes. It needs to be LT button here. And it doesn't have to be there, but it might as well be just for consistency. So, let's see whether that works. Like, I'm casting it as an object because I just want to see if it's, like, the same thing, basically. Okay, so, these work. Except, slightly not. It's weird that the frame rate looks kind of stuttery, but it says it's running at, like, 300 frames a second. Doesn't look like it resets there. Uh... Still getting the weirdness with the mappings of this controller. Um, I don't know why that is. Like theoretically, those should be showing up right, but it's obviously toggling over here all of the buttons when I hit this. Or is it like not resetting things? So I probably need to clear the controllers each frame. That's probably one thing that I need to do. I'm not doing that already. So that needs to get cleared, and PC needs to get cleared as well. I still don't really get why the map is, like, not working. Oh, because this is happening before... Wait, no. This should be fine, because I've got these Xbox maps. Um clear all buttons and axes. Am I doing that on PS4? No, as long as I don't do it on the PS4 thing, it should keep the map. Like that's why I thought about just making the PS4 thing just be a mapping instead of controller, but I may want it to be an actual controller later on, so. Like, it works, except that it's not upping like when I let go of the button it still thinks it's pressing it like it doesn't go back to zero which is weird which I guess is because I'm not clearing PC and con but I also it also says that I am here right so maybe that's like not actually working 
if I go up here to clear buttons maxis. So I clear all of the mappings. And then I do this. So I guess it should be isn't it like but it's like button default or something. There's some kind of thing. It's like default C sharp. I don't know what's going on. Cause this says I should be able to like, well, those are, that's a, a class, right? So I can make a, a constructor, but I guess newing if I don't have a constructor doesn't do anything. So what if I just do this? Can I do like you would do in um, in C++ or, or whatever? Okay, no, I can't do that. Let's see, clear struct. This is default, which is what I was thinking. So it would be default button, I guess. And that would be default button as well. And that would be default axis. So those should get cleared every frame. The only thing I'm worried about, let's see, button is a field, but type was expected as a field. Yeah, because it, it needs to be underscore button. Oops. should work now, maybe. I'm just trying to get this uh, to work because I, I need to be able to see what the last thing he used were. Okay, it's still not resetting to zero, which is still weirding me out. Because I don't understand why it's not <laughs> resetting to zero. <laughs> Let me look at the controller monitor here and um, change this from con to PC so I can see what the PC thing looks like. So it's definitely like seeing the axis changing back to zero. It's weird that when I hit space bar, it resets. don't understand why. I mean, it shouldn't have anything to do with this, I wouldn't think. But maybe it does. Maybe we'll just stop that for a second. Last used is equal to like new controller to clear it out, I guess. I don't think that's going to do anything, but um, it might be worth seeing what it does. Okay, so I'm still getting my axes on here. It's a weird noise. Yeah, that was
was the dog, I think. But um, now I'm getting like no input through there or through there. So, oh, well, I'm newing the wrong thing, I guess. Of course. Okay, so. Clear con, I clear PC every frame. I feel like this should work, but it doesn't seem like it does. I feel like it should work without the LCIF, but I mean, I feel like it should work without having to do it for every single one, rather. But we're going to see. see what that does, because maybe that's the problem. But for some reason, it's seeing it as like Okay. See, that's the problem with doing that. Is if I don't have the else if, then it's like it sets it to zero here. Um, like if, if it's left, then if I'm not holding left, it sets it to zero. And then if I'm holding right, then it'll set it. But if I am holding right, if I'm not holding right, then it sets it to zero. So that's why I have the else if because I have to do it that way. Because it's one, it's either left or right, um, or whatever, I guess. I guess I could do it minus equals one instead of doing it equal to it. So I could do like this. clear it this way. And I don't remember which way the <laughs> Y needs to be. I feel like it needs to be positive for up. And so then I can just clear it that way. That seems like a better way of doing that. Where I add to it. That way, if I press both, it will cancel out and handle that pretty easily. Okay. So the axis is 1 and 1 on x, which is weird. Why is that? Oh, because I've got minus negative. <laughs> that would be why. Okay, so I think I, I think I have the uh, those working right. They're still just not resetting resetting to zero, which is weird. Don't know why that is. Other than I guess I'm not. I feel like I'm not resetting last used, but I also feel like I shouldn't have to reset last used because last used is going to get set to what this was. I guess not. I guess it only gets set when a button goes down. So I need to clear it every frame. Yeah, I do need to clear it every frame. So that way, if a button's not held or pressed, because when a key comes up, I don't send a message right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have subtracted negative one. That's Don't know why I did that, but uh, so last use needs to get cleared as well. I think that's the problem. 
because like last use doesn't get cleared because I'm not tracking up like a button was released. No, it didn't work. Why didn't it work? Because buttons getting set to last use button. Axis is getting set to last use axis. Button held is getting set to last use button held. So if the PC is getting cleared here, the last use is getting cleared here, and I'm going through here and checking for get key down and setting last use to be PC, because really what I want is like ref PC. Can I do that? Can I get ref there? I don't think it's possible to do that. Because I really don't, I kind of would like to have a pointer, um, but like that's essentially what I would want is just a pointer to the last to this thing. So like when you press a key, it's like let's look at this thing, right? Um, I don't get a, a, I can't get a good way to do that. I'm not sure how to do that off the top of my head. sure that my uh, reset here is working because it should work right but maybe it's actually just not clearing them but it looks like it is because um, they're showing up here as cleared like X is negative one and now it's positive one but uh, for whatever reason which this is not actually the thing that I have here like um, Oh, come on, Salon. So what are you going to do that? I think you're badly behaved there. But if I get rid of this and I look at, like, what it, what it's, what, what the controller, controller that's built on top of this is looking at, then it's this. And see, that's not getting reset when I let go. It's only getting reset when I press something else, which means that it's not getting copied. Um, like the state's not changing. I'm just going to have to do it this way. Like this is going to be the easiest thing. Um, we're going to change this to where we've got a bool for it that's basically last used controller um, last used PC basically so there's gonna be two bulls each frame those bulls are gonna get reset oh now I can't reset them just gonna have to do it with an integer or something like that or an enum I'm just gonna do it as an integer because I, I basically want to set it and it needs to stay and then I copy based on that like if I know that that's the thing basically this input types thing is what I, I need current input type. Okay, I already had it. I just not, I don't think I'm actually using current input type for anything right now. Okay. So we're just going to stick this in here and rather than doing last used con on the button, we're going to go here and go current input type is equal to input types dot. I don't think I have console, but uh, we're going to add that. 
because I don't need to know that level of granularity right now. Anyway, uh, hello, uh, nothings. I believe that's, uh, Sean Barrett. I apologize for the, the, the noise in the background, by the way. <laughs> Hopefully I'm still audible over it. Um. Okay. But that seems reasonable. So we'll just set the input type there. Um. PC on those ones. Forgot a semicolon. And so then we can go down here and set this based on that. So it'll be just uh, if current input type is equal to input types PC. Then we'll go last used to go to PC. And then we'll do an else if current input type is console. Yeah, she's uh, got to practice a lot, so. Okay, so that's fine. Uh, I think it's just con for that. But I'm not getting con right now, so it really doesn't matter, but That should work because then that's going to get assigned every frame. Uh, the script didn't reload because there was an error. Not contained definition for console. Oh, yeah, I made it all caps because all the other ones were all caps. I need to do that down here as well. For some reason, I'd, I'd like to do enums all caps. I don't know why. Uh, last used. PC. Oh yeah, I was I was gonna do those for a minute. Okay, so that should reload. Hey. Okay, so that works. Uh, no weirdnesses with it not resetting. If I look at this, those all look right. So that all looks good. So now we just need to turn on the controller and see whether or not that works. And clear. I probably not I probably won't actually need to clear these, but we'll see. Cuz it may not be necessary. That still works, and this does not work. So, why doesn't it work? I don't know. So let's let's set our little monitor thing to look at the the console again, the console controller, and see if the controller mapping is actually picking up at all, because it's possible that it isn't. Uh, it looks like it's just not picking it up at all. It's still doing this weird thing where it's mapped wrong where it's just doing the button mapping as zero. And I don't know why that is, so let's look at that for a second. So I set up my mappings. Set up my I 
let's go through and and like disable all of these things just to just to make sure because it looks like when I clear that it's unmapping all the buttons okay so let's do this let's go clear buttons and axes uh, Xbox is that how that works? Let's see, what did it work? Yeah, so we pass in the controller and then it clears it all. So that those maps will all have negative one for the things that aren't used. Then I shouldn't have to clear these, um, especially the PC. And I shouldn't, let's not worry about clearing that and see whether that is fine. I really need to set this up with like two columns or like three columns or something. Okay, so that works and this is still doing this thing and I don't, I'm not sure why. Um, I may have to just investigate what the mapping is. So I think we're, for that, it might make sense to just debug it and just step through rather than using this thing. So. Unfortunately, ripping this out and replacing it, I mean, I got it to work, but the reason that I wanted it to even replace it, uh, I guess I already had a, a, a breakpoint set. And okay, so let's look in here and see. Well, this is in controller. That's where my breakpoint was, but I still should be able to see what these mappings are. Current input type PC. Yeah, okay, let's see. PS4. It has all these things. I really only need the mapping though. So they're all zero. And that is very strange. It should not be zero. Let's see, let's go into Um, so let's see, because those get mapped at startup, so theoretically they should be mapped. <laughs> so if we go in here, into update, and let's just step through. Well, it's no wonder that they don't work, because they're all zero, but I don't know why they're all zero. at the start. Where's start? So I'm mapping all of this crap right here. So if it's not working, um, let me take that out. Then my guess is probably there's some stupid thing where it's secretly under the hood, like not copying the values, which is why I hate this programming language. Okay. Um, for some reason, that did not break right there. Oh. I bet start is never getting called. <laughs> uh.
Yeah, no wonder. No wonder it's not happening, because it's not calling that code, because... Um... I'm an idiot. No, I'm not really an idiot. I just... I'm used to... Like, for example... Okay. Let's say I have this. Um, this class inherits from on a behavior um, that's like the unity class and that means it has callbacks and one of those callbacks is start um, which it calls at the start of the scene um, but it's not doing that because this is not inheriting from mono behavior this is just an object <laughs> so this is never happening so we're going to call this something else which is setup mappings and then we're just going to put a bool in here that's like mappings uh, were set up. Yeah, it's, uh, it's just like, oh, well, no wonder it's, like, not actually mapped because it's never calling that function because I just assumed, well, it's start, so it's going to call that. Um, like, the only reason update is getting called um, is because I have a, a game manager, which does inherit from mono behavior, which calls update on my, uh, my uh, static classes. This is because all this object-oriented crap in this thing where it's like, if I want to have something happen every frame, it like has to inherit from mono behavior. Like, um, so it's like I have to have a thing that inherits from mono behavior that handles my stuff that I might want to happen on a callback. But if I want it to be like globally accessible, it needs to be a static class. Like if I want to have a controller object that everything can just look at the controller and see what it is at any time, um, then it, it can't inherit from mono behavior. So it's just, it's really annoying. So I could, I could put it in here and start and call TJ input setup, but I'm not going to do that because that is too confusing. So instead we're just going to go if, uh, mappings were set up which is not true then we will uh, map set up mappings so then that's gonna happen um, so that should work now uh, no wonder it didn't work like all this confusion and I'm like I don't know what's going on it all just because I moved that out of there so yeah so now it should uh, it should show me the, the stick stuff Right stick, left stick, all my buttons are showing up. D-pad, which actually works right now. Oh no, I guess the right stick worked. Why wasn't it working? It wasn't working for a second. Oh, now it's not working either. Oh, okay. It's the it's the the sticks. The axes don't set it right. So stick works. I can do all that. Use my virtual cursor run so and then I can switch to this and use the keyboard um, and now I just I'll have to set that up but I need to fix it to where um, to where it knows the defaults for the axes and stuff um, which I can do based on either actually getting a default on the first frame and just assuming that's the default which seems kind of not great um, or I can track it over time and check to see if it's changed beyond a certain threshold um, that seems like the better thing to do is just see if it changes beyond a certain threshold and if it changes beyond that threshold then we say you've used that this frame the buttons are obviously easy because they're either just on or off um, I suppose I have the situation where if you hold a button here and then move this, it thinks you're using the mouse, but I'm not too worried about that. I'm not too worried about it because it's like, who's going to do that? Uh, 
that crazy person who's trying to break it. So if it breaks, then whatever. Um, so uh, the mappings work. Like new probably would have worked on that because um, that wasn't the problem. The problem was this was not happening. So I need to track those over frames. Um, which is basically just set it at the end of the frame. It's just uh, con dot. I think I have axis last frame as part of the controller already. I don't really need button held last frame, but I do need axis last frame. I suppose I could have button held last frame. It might be easier. Um, or useful for some reason, so I'll just leave it there for now. So we'll go axis last frame uh, is equal to con dot axis, and then we'll just check if the difference here um, between those is that rather than should just be able to do axis or minus axis last frame and get the absolute value of that for axis. So that should work, and then so it should see um, it should see it as uh, yeah, it's not axis last frame. Ugh. So I got Visual Studio open. Um, axis axis last frame. Oh no 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 no, that's not. Yeah okay. Oh okay. Well, it's always going to be con, so we can just do that. It's always going to be coming from the controller, um, so that's probably fine. Well, no, that's not going to work. Ugh. Yeah, that's the problem that I had. So then it's like, do I do, I could just do the validation pass on the thing like I did before, where I just check to see if it's all changed at, at the end of the frame. I kind of wanted to do it here because it's like, it seems to make more sense when I'm getting the, the axis to check to see if it's changed. So then I know that if it's changed, um, but I'm not actually assigning it to the controller through this function. I'm just getting it and then setting it out here. So I'm just getting the axis and then assigning it after it returns. Like, it's easy with the button because it's always going to be that thing. but And it's always going to be a controller here, too. But I just don't know what the axis is on the controller. So I can't actually check it because I only know. Like, axis num here is not part of the controller. It's part of the mapping. Uh, which is because this is built on top of Unity's thing, and so I need to have a mapping into Unity's axis there. So the controller doesn't actually just have axis numbers. It just, it's a basically a, a platonic ideal of a Xbox 360 controller. Um, and so you think of the different things as like the trigger or the whatever you would think of it as. So I guess I could still probably go through it somehow or I could the only thing I can think of it just be make a union of it but I still wouldn't know what the number was from that so I'd have to have the controller and I don't necessarily I, I don't want to pass the controller in because it feels weird to pass the controller into a function that doesn't do need it other than for this thing I'll just do this thing where I go ver validate like if it's changed. Yeah, which is basically just gonna be um, all my axes, which are um, these. 
left stick, right stick, left trigger, right trigger. So it's basically going to work like that. I should just be able to do this minus. Oops, that's not going to work. Uh, access last frame. And. Such a janky thing, but um, so that means it's changed basically. Um, yeah, okay, so then that should be. here um, that can get pulled out into a function if I need it to but uh, so that's gonna happen there I also need this which is if the mouse Delta dot magnitude is more than that so if you move the mouse then we want to set it to PC Should work. And it can get the, the last input type, and hopefully it's not flipping like required to float and push. This is one of the annoying things. Like if I want to use Visual Studio as the debugger, um, then I got to remember to switch it back to my just my text editor when I go back and actually want to do things. So I can't subtract this. Well, no wonder. Um, so I'm just going to basically change this to where this is like this. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't know any other better way to do that. So it seems like the best thing. Okay. I don't know why I got an assertion. It wasn't my code. Can't implicitly convert to access. Return axis. Oh, I don't need to return axis, just return map. It should be a float. Okay. Okay, so that works there, and then this works here. And it seems to seems to handle it fine as far as I can tell. Alright, so the only thing that I need now is I need to change the uh, controls display thing down here uh, to figure this stuff out right. Which I, I want to get rid of this at some point because I also have this thing that's now built on top of this thing. Which is just nutty, but um, that's because this used to be built on the Unity input system and now it's built on my input system which is built on the unity input system but in a different way so that it's like simpler it's simpler to me to do it this way where I just write in code like here's all the things that I want set rather than going into unity and for every single thing that I want to do that using their um, where is it using this thing and going in here and using this really bad interface to add something because it's like how do I even add something Okay, I don't know. I don't know. How do I add it? Oh, I guess I right click and duplicate it. Or I hit this and change it to 11. 
<laughs> it's like it's really bad. So I'd rather not deal with that. It's just easier to do it this way. Um, so I need to change it to where this thing figures that out, basically. Oh, I do need to know Xbox and P versus PS4. How do I know that? How can I know that? I guess I can know the map type. Current input type. So I've got that. And then I've got controller map type. Okay, so we'll just do it this way, where it's like, if it's a uh, console, um, then we got that, and then we've got, is it current input type, is that what I'm doing? Okay, so we got console, and then inside of this console one, we'll also have, if, I'll, I'll do this in a better way later, but it's like last mapping type or something. Controller map type. So bad. Controller map type. <laughs> um, Xbox. I'll just... The better thing would be to just uh, do it some way where I just have a thing that it looks at that's like... And in the I the input thing there figures it out, but I'll have to like get rid of this whole layer anyway. So, and and then we'll set that to current control map to be just two because I need to know whether it's the A button or the X button, basically. I don't know why I didn't just do this this way, but that seems to make more sense based on the numbering of things, but I guess I must have been concerned about priority on something. So that should theoretically switch this now. Uh, it doesn't because that's inaccessible, which is what I thought. So, It's easier to do this with just like a string check and just have a string like I have with this current joystick name, but um, but that's for these names, not for the not for something that's actually publicly accessible, really, uh, most of the time. Other than I was using it, I was making it publicly accessible so I could look at it here and see what ca it came up with there. <coughs> so. this current input type and I've got this controller map type I guess I can do all of this go through all here but then I can disambiguate uh, at the last second here and set it to um, yeah that seems like the right thing to do is just go if um, current, what is it, controller map type is equal to input types PC, no, excuse me, Xbox. First I should go if current input type is equal to input types console. I need to make this like... Then we check that. 
Actually, we can just do it this way. This will be the easiest thing. Yeah, that would be easier. I'll leave a note here about this. So that should be fine. And then I can go down here. Controller, current control method. can just get it from the TJ input thing directly in there. But I can also get it from here. Okay, so that should work. Unless there's something I'm doing wrong. Oh, I did controller map type. That needs to be a current input type. Seems to have worked. That works, and hey, what do you know? It switched immediately. That's exactly what I want. Is as soon as I hit anything on the controller, that should switch to what it is. So good, yay! Ship it. <laughs> <laughs> um, now the last thing to check uh, is if the 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 Xbox controller stuff works. Um, which I don't even know how well this is going to work. Uh, but I don't have a 360 controller to test it with, so I just test it with, uh, I think it's Input Mapper, which uh, is like a, a faking thing. Like it fakes a 360 controller for a DualShock. So it's janky. I could use Steam, I suppose. Um, but it seems like for some reason the Steam thing didn't want to work 